The barrier to entry to starting a profitable marketing business has never been easier than it is today. Even if you have no experience running and scaling a business yet, it's really about leveraging the skills you do have and then tapping into top tier talent to help complement you with the skills you don't have. And that helps you offer a range of services which can help you boost your earning potential dramatically as opposed to just providing one skill. And on top of that, the global digital marketing industry is absolutely massive. It's around $366 billion and it's growing, which shows how strong and stable this market is for you to go and launch a business in. Now, the key component of the strategy I'm going to share with you today is how anyone can start a marketing business with little to no experience. And it's all about focusing on what you do best and outsource the rest. And in this massive digital marketing industry, design is a service that spreads its tentacles far and wide. When you think about it, pretty much all online marketing includes some sort of design work that is needed. So anything from websites to logos to social media graphics to online ads, animation, and much more. So that's why, in my opinion, there is so much potential to get clients and to start building a marketing business from scratch. And outsourcing graphic design services isn't just a strategy you can use that you know you just heard of and you picked it up. It's actually a transformation because what it can do is it can skyrocket your potential earnings by allowing you to focus on growing your business, getting clients and working on the communication while experts handle all of the design work for you. But there's a catch. Many people go about this the wrong way. First, there's hiring in-house. And while having a dedicated designer on your team, on your internal team, might sound ideal, it's costly and impractical for most budding entrepreneurs. And the expenses often outweigh the benefits. Next, finding a freelancer. Though this might seem cost effective, this route is actually more time consuming than you might think, and the quality, the consistency, and response times can greatly vary. I'm not saying leveraging talent on freelance platforms such as Upwork is bad for design work, but you will often end up spending significant time going through proposals, qualifying freelancers, hosting interviews, and then finding new freelancers when your needs change or when worse, maybe the freelancer moves on to another project, their availability changes, or they decide to increase their fees. All of that can happen. And third, you can use a graphic design service. And for this video, I'm happy to announce that I've teamed up with Penji.co, which is your one-stop solution for all your graphic design needs. Now, let me explain what a graphic design service does and why it's different from hiring in-house or hiring a freelancer. They provide everything from logos and branding to websites and digital ads. And Penji offers a wide range of design services, which are really there to help elevate your marketing business and they have a team of expert designers that you can use at your disposal to create unlimited designs. And that's really my favorite part of this is that there's so much potential when you are able to create unlimited amount of designs for one monthly fee. So real quick, I'm gonna show you how profitable it can be to use Penji as your design team. Even with just a few paying clients, you can generate substantial profits without having to do any of the design work yourself. So imagine that you get three clients, right? You get three different design projects in one month. The first one, let's say, is for $1,000. The second is for $2,000. And the third is for $1,500. In a whole month, that is completely doable. If you talk to freelancers, you talk to people who start a marketing business, that is something that you can do. And when you look at that and you look at the math, that's $4,500 in revenue. The lowest Penji plan is $500. So you just walked away with $4,000 in profit by using Penji to create those three different design projects. Now let's hop over to Penji.co so we can dive deeper and I can show you the possibilities of starting a marketing business this way. And when you hop over to Penji, you can see on their website, they're letting you know that this is your design team. So you have a team of vetted graphic design experts there to help you create over 120 plus different designs. And if we hop over here to the Our Work tab, you can start to look at Penji's art gallery, which is really nice that it's public. They show you some of the samples of their work that you can create. And the thing I really like about this is that Penji isn't just hiring part-time employees here and there and have a, a, you know, a big turnover rate. They're all about having a team 
of people who work all around the world, but they're focused on Penji. That is their job and they are paid well, they're happy, they're responsive, and you can get designs in 24 to 48 hours. And you can see they have some of their top different categories here. So uh, the featured category here, we have animation, there's branding, digital, prints, illustration, presentations, web and app. These are the top ones. So just looking at branding real quick, you can see how many different brands that they're even just showing you that they've worked on here. Um, and as you click in, you can look at exactly what they created for that, whether it's packaging or a logo or a brand identity. And you can hop around here and just see all of the different type of services that you can provide because when you partner with Penji, you know, you become a customer of Penji and you're on their plan, you can create unlimited designs. So when you think about it as a marketing business owner, now you can create so many different product offerings because you now have the ability to deliver on them, right? So if we look at Penji and we start to get an idea of everything that they're really capable of, that is when all of the possibilities really start to come to light. Now, instead of just talking about it and showing you the website, let me take you behind the scenes through a live process of me requesting a design on Penji so you can see how the process works and how simple it is and easy to get a designer and to get your work done. If we hop over to this other tab, I'm already logged in to the back end of Penji. You can see you have a dashboard here, which kind of has just an overview of everything you're doing. The projects tab here has all of the different projects that are currently being worked on. The brands tab here is something where you can have different brands for every client you have. And then I created a profitable freelancer folder for this specific project. And let me tell you what my plan is for this. I'm gonna have a Penji designer create a couple different thumbnails for the video you're watching right now. So you clicked on one of the thumbnails, that was designed by Penji.co. So right now what I already did was I loaded in some information just about my brand, my profitable freelancer brand, just teaching other people how to create a freelance business, a marketing business, things of that nature. And I also uploaded a few attachments um, so when I go and submit this project, I don't have to attach them. They'll already be in my brand folder. And I included a headshot. I also included uh, an example of just some of the top thumbnails that are ranking on YouTube. So when you search start a marketing agency or start a marketing business, just wanted to give them some examples of different styles that they can play with. You know, the more you give a designer, obviously the better the designs are going to come back in the style that you want. Um, and then also I included a couple other headshots here for them. And then you have the Teams tab. And here you can see that for this project, we are working with Santiago. Um, and then also sometimes they will bring other people on board to work on the specific project. Let's say if a team member has a skill set in a certain area, they can bring them on board on the project and they can co-work together with you. So Santiago has been great and we're gonna submit this project to him now. So all we have to do is click Create and then new design project. You can see there's a bunch of the most used ones here, but I think the best thing is just to search exactly what you want. So for this video, we're doing a YouTube thumbnail. So this will just be called YouTube thumbnail for Paul Mendez. Here we can select the brand. It's for the profitable freelancer brand, which has my images like I just showed you. And then after that, we can choose the dimension the uh, project is gonna come in. Then after that, we click next. And this is where you tell them about the project. So here we are just going to describe exactly what we want for the project. So I'll be right back after I type this out. Okay, just finished typing out a description for the project. Like I said, the attachments don't need to be there because they are in the brand folder. And then it's going to say that the deliverables ask you how you want that project. For this, I'll let the designer decide. I'm sure they'll just send over a couple of PNGs, but you can request it. For example, if you want it in Photoshop so you can work on it more or you want it in Illustrator, whatever you want, you can request that in. And then the uh, creative input part, this is cool. You can decide how strictly you want them to follow your guidelines. So strictly follow, follow specific guidelines precisely, mix with creativity, blend your creative ideas with mine, or the third would be complete creative freedom. Feel free to be as creative as you like. So I like the middle option here, mix with creativity. And then it will also give you an option for your style preference. So if you like white on dark background or you like dark on white, whatever it is, you can choose that or you can just choose to skip this step, which I think I may do. Then you can look at the overview of the project one more time. So the brand, the deliverables, 
the description for the project, the dimensions, and then the creative input, and then you just click create project. And that's all you have to do. Now the project is successfully added. It is in the queue. The designer is going to start working on this. And then within 24 to 48 hours, I'm gonna come back here, sit down in this chair. We're gonna look at the designs that the creator gave to us. And then we're going to decide, do we wanna do any revisions or are we happy with this? And we can get this set up as a thumbnail for this video. So I'll see you in a little bit. All right, and we are back. So it is the next day now, it is Thursday. It hasn't even been 24 hours and I checked the account. The designer already cut back to me with the initial design. So I wanna hop right into this with you, show you what they provided as well as some revisions I want to make on them. So looking at the designs here, you can see I'm on the project here. Um, and then our art director, Santiago, had also brought on board Nicholas of the Penji team to work on this with us. And he provided these three different designs here. He said he made the uh, designs with a similar style to my channel. He also used the images I sent, like my headshot. And then he also used the dimensions that I requested. Um, now, a couple of things I'm thinking is that I like the style of this one, the top right one, the most. Uh, but I'm thinking that I actually want to name this video, the one you're watching now, something like, you know, how to start a marketing business with no experience. So I don't necessarily want the thumbnail to say the same exact thing because, you know, just going behind the scenes a little bit, YouTube is all about building a cohesive unit. So that thumbnail and the title are going to work together. So if you're using the same exact thing in both of them, you're actually wasting prime real estate and I don't want to do that. So the more I thought about it, I looked at this, I'm like, you know what? Let's get a revision going and let's try to build some curiosity and have two different thumbnails created, but using the style of the one on the top right. Um, so the first thing I wanna do is make it much less wordy and I also want to build some uh, engagement, some anticipation. So the first one I'm thinking is doing something like, you know, we can do build a marketing business secrets or marketing business secrets or something like that. And then the second one can be more to the effect of making money, but without experience. So it can be like no experience needed and then some money. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how you can use this tool. Uh, it's called the click and point tool. And all you have to do is whatever you want to talk to uh, the designer and tell them what revision you want. You just click it, you would drag it, and then it will open up um, a revision for you to make on this exact part of the design. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna tell the designer we want two things, right? So I like this format, but I want it to be more engaging and I want the it to be less wordy and the font larger for mobile. Then I'm gonna say, let's create two more designs. The first saying marketing business secrets uh, along with a cash emoji. And then the second design saying no experience needed with a real stack of cash or something underneath the text and we'll click add. And then from there, we can also say, okay, do we want anything else? And we can also say, you know what? Actually, I like the way that he outlined me here in the white. So then under this, I can say, please also outline me in white in the two new designs. And there we go. So I wanna show you how easy it is. It just took a minute or so to look at the designs that I got in under a day. I got a better idea of what I want now that I saw this. I realized I don't wanna repeat the same thing in the thumbnail and the title. So I said, let's create two different ones. We already got these revisions in and now we just have to wait a little bit longer and I'll be back to you as soon as I get these next designs. Hopefully these next ones are perfect. We don't need any more revisions. And then I can also tell you ways you can take your marketing business to an even higher level using Penji and other graphic design services just like this. I'll see you soon. Okay, and I'm back. It's Friday now, so let's take a look at the new design and the revisions that the designer did and see if we like the revisions. So if we hop back over to our dashboard here, you can see it's Friday, like I said, and we go down and my project has been delivered. So the revisions once again took under 24 hours, which is awesome. So here are the two designs. So if you remember, um, the main goal was to get two different designs that we can really do A-B testing with. So looking at what the designer Nicholas provided, I'm actually really liking these. So I think that's something I learned too, just being more specific with the prompt is really going to help you and you know if you tell the designer exactly what you have in mind and you're more specific they're going to be able to deliver exactly what you want where on the other hand if you want them to use more of their artistic freedom 
you can kind of be more broad and let them expand. But with these two designs, I'm really liking how he put these together. And he didn't just take my exact words and put it on there in terms of, you know, I said a cash stack and he actually put it all over the thumbnail. And the other one I said, you know, use uh, some sort of money emoji. And he put two of these here. He increased the size of the font. Um, and you can see the, uh, you know, just description of what he provided here as well. Um, he just said he made two more designs, outlined the image uh, in each design, and then also tried to make the designs pop with the text and the layout. And then he also added some elements like the emojis and the dollar bills. And then once again, you know, he just says if there is more revisions, all we have to do is just use that tool again and we're good to go. But from this, uh, we can just let them know, you know, we don't have more revisions, so we, we're uh, good to go here. We can download the project, and from there, that's pretty much all there is. So, really, the whole goal with showing you this is because I wanted to show you how you can go from not having any services at all, or maybe you only have one service to provide, and now you have over 120 categories you can provide services for and as a marketing business or a freelancer who's providing marketing services that is so essential to be able to provide all of these different services so now that we have these two thumbnails i'm going to get these set up as an a b test on this video so please comment below which one you actually saw and which one you clicked on because it will be helpful just to see which one you saw and then if you like one of them more than the other let me know and that'll also help me out just seeing kind of what style people like to bring it all together you know the reason i teamed up with penji like i was saying is so i could walk you through behind the scenes the entire design process and really show you how simple and seamless it is. So within 48 hours, we already have a final design. Uh, it's ready to be published, which is perfect for anyone looking to start a marketing business from scratch or someone who's already starting to provide services, but they need more design capabilities. And you also saw how simple it was to get the revisions, to get them back, how quick it was. Um, and the other part I did forget to mention that I do want to make sure I mention is that you can switch designers at any time. And you can do it just at the click of a button. So there's no questions asked, no awkward conversations, no hard feelings. All you have to do is just click a button that, you know, I want to switch designers and they will get you a new designer. If let's say you did do a revision or two and the designer isn't really the style you're looking for, that's another great benefit you have. Whereas with a freelancer, you'd have to end the contract, you'd have to open up a new job, interview more freelancers, onboard them, and it's this whole process. Whereas with Penji, it's so seamless. And the other thing is that if you are interested in giving Penji a try, I have a special offer just for my audience. You can get 15% off your entire first month using Penji so you can try it out. You can click the link in the description and make sure to use code Paul15 and you're gonna get 15% off at checkout. Um, and there are three different plans. So if you do the highest plan, that's up to $224 off. So like I said, click the link in the description so you can start to bring your marketing business to life or if you already started, bring it to the next level. And no matter which marketing skill that you specialize in, remember that graphic design is a skill that permeates throughout all of them. And it can supercharge your earnings when you start to combine the skill you provide with graphic design services. Or you can simply resell these and kind of act as a reseller or a white labeler. And what you do is you make a profit by being the orchestrator of the deal, getting the client, communicating with them, and then you're getting your work from Penji or another service like this, and you're able to make that profit. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. Comment what video topic you would like to see next down below so I can see other topics you guys want to know about as well as if you want more information on building a profitable marketing business. And on top of that, if you want to learn how to get clients now, now that you have all of this idea about building a business, getting more customers, providing graphic design services, you may be saying, well, how do I actually get clients? If that's the case, watch this video here somewhere on the screen. I'm going to put it up here and that is going to help you do that. So thank you for watching. Once again, please give the video a like. And until next time, I look forward to your continued success.